Where a customer has complained that they are regularly having to top up the pressure to the boiler every two or three days or more quickly, or maybe every once or twice a month, it may be the heat exchange has got a leak. So here I'm looking for any leaks within the boiler casing, whether it's coming from the seam of the pump or maybe from the expansion vessel itself already, or pipe work, or the diverter valve. Look for any leaks within the boiler. Here there are none, so what I'm doing is I'm going to depressurize the expansion vessel, let all the air out. If you get water coming out of here, then you know your expansion vessel has failed and that needs replacing anyway, if it's a constant stream of water. Otherwise, we go to the next bit. So I thought maybe that was leaking. It's not, so I'll stick that back on. Uh, make sure the boiler is actually off. So here I've pumped up the expansion vessel up to two bar. Previous to that, I have turned off the flow and return connections to the boiler so that now there is about two bar pressure in the boiler and not in the heating system. So now I'm looking for drips coming from the seam of the pump just there. Can't see any drips appearing. Moving over the diverter valve, which sometimes leaks out of the um, pin in there. There's nothing there. Still looking for the leaks, any drips. Can't see any. Oh, here we go. There's a drip appearing now from the sump under the boiler. Yep. Yeah, and that is showing that the heat exchanger has got a hole in it. Quite profusely. And that had stopped completely. Heat exchanger failure. And there we go. This is a Baxi Platinum with a round stainless steel heat exchanger which had exactly the same fault and I did exactly the same to test it.